Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you need to edit a boatload of raw photos but don't have the time to do so? In this video, I'll be showing you how to save time editing photos using batch processing of raw files, which has a ton of applications, not just for general raw editing, but also for pre-processing panoramas, image stacking, HDR brackets, and many more. So let's get right into it. To begin batch processing, the first step is to open one raw file out of the many raw files you want to process. Affinity will open the raw file in Develop Persona. Make sure the output is set to raw layer, either embedded or linked is fine, and not pixel layer. If this is not properly done, you won't be able to record raw editing with the macro. Next, click Develop, and that will bring you to Photo Persona. Next, let's create the macro. You do this through the macro panel. Open the macro panel by clicking Window, and then Macro. The macro panel will be shown on the left side of the screen. Will allow you to record multiple operations you do on your photo such as raw processing, applying a Gaussian blur, etc., and apply them to your photo in a single click. To record a macro, click the Record button. Okay, macro recording has started. Let's now begin editing the raw file. Navigate to Develop Persona. Perform your adjustments. Once done, click Develop. Notice a Develop entry appears in the macro panel, confirming that the raw editing we have done has been recorded. Next, let's improve the color of the raw photo. I'll make some HSL color adjustments. Finally, let's add some sharpening adjustments. Notice both entries are added to the macro dialog as well. Okay, now that we're done with the editing, let's click the Stop Recording button. I'll add the macro to our library. Click the Add to Library button. Name the macro. I'll name mine Tone Adjustments Macro. Note that the macro will be saved in a category named Default. Once done, click OK. The macro will then appear in a list under the Library tab. This Library tab can be shown or hidden from the same place you show or hide your macro, the window entry in the menu. Now that the macro has been created, Let's perform the actual batch processing. Click File, New Batch Job. In the New Batch Job dialog, click Add. Add the raw files you want to batch process. Next, I'll select a directory to save the processed files to. For file output, I'll ensure Affinity Photo Project is selected so that I can further edit the raw file if needed, and JPEG. For the macro, I'll select the macro we just created. Click Apply. Once you're satisfied with the batch processing settings, click OK. The batch processing will commence. There, batch processing is done. Let's view the files. Here are the original raw files. And here are the processed files. Let's navigate to the output folder. Notice that the folder has both JPEG and Affinity Photo projects as we specified. Let's open one Affinity Photo project. 
Notice all the macro steps have been applied, the raw adjustments, HSL adjustment, and sharpening adjustment. So there you have it. That's how you batch process raw files with Affinity Photo. As you can see, it does work and is extremely powerful since it allows you to perform both raw processing in Develop Persona and layered editing in Photo Persona automatically across multiple photos. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you got the batch processing to work. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.